Today, we're tackling a common culprit, a lean fuel mixture. We'll explain exactly what that means and, crucially, uncover the reasons why it happens. Let's get started. So, what do we mean by a lean fuel mixture? Well, in your engine, it's all about getting the right balance of air and fuel for optimal combustion. A lean mixture means there's too much air and not enough fuel being delivered to the cylinders. The ideal ratio for most gasoline engines is around 14.7 parts of air to one part of fuel. That's what we call stoichiometric. Anything higher than that, and you're in lean territory. Now, why does this happen? There are a few key culprits we need to investigate, and they generally fall into two main categories problems with the fuel delivery system, and issues with the air intake system. Let's start with the fuel side of things. Imagine trying to drink through a clogged straw. You're not gonna get much liquid. The same principle applies here. Clogged or dirty fuel filter. This is like that clogged straw, restricting the fuel flow to the engine. A simple replacement can often solve this. Weak or failing fuel pump. Your fuel pump is the heart of the fuel system, pushing fuel to the injectors. If it's weak or failing, it won't deliver enough pressure. Clogged or dirty fuel injectors. These tiny nozzles spray fuel into the cylinders. If they get clogged up, they won't deliver the correct amount. Fuel injector cleaner or professional cleaning might be needed. Low fuel pressure regulator. This guy makes sure the fuel pressure stays consistent. If it's faulty, the pressure might drop too low. Leaking fuel lines. Any leaks in the fuel lines mean less fuel is making its way to the engine. Low voltage to the fuel pump. Sometimes it's not the pump itself, but the electrical power it's receiving that's the issue. Now let's talk about the air coming into the engine. If unmetered air sneaks in, it throws off the delicate balance. Vacuum leaks. These are like sneaky holes in your engine's breathing system. Extra air gets in after the mass airflow sensor has already measured the intake, confusing the ECU. Check your hoses and gaskets. Faulty mass airflow sensor. This sensor tells the computer how much air is entering the engine. If it's dirty or malfunctioning, it might underreport the airflow, leading the ECU to inject too little fuel. Cleaning or replacing the sensor is often the fix. Exhaust leaks upstream of the oxygen sensor. Believe it or not, an exhaust leak before the oxygen sensor can trick the sensor into thinking there's too much oxygen, causing the ECU to reduce fuel. Stuck open PCV valve. The positive crankcase ventilation valve recirculates gases. If it's stuck open, it can allow extra unmetered air into the intake. Finally, Let's not forget the sensors that provide crucial information to the engine's computer, the ECU. Faulty oxygen sensor. This sensor measures the oxygen in the exhaust. If it's giving incorrect readings, the ECU might mistakenly think the mixture is rich and reduce fuel, causing it to go lean. The mass airflow meter and intake air temperature sensors help the ECU understand air density and temperature. Incorrect readings from these can also lead to improper fuel calculations. So there you have it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more automotive insights.